It's a good looking move by the freshman though. Very patient, good footwork. And a nice move underneath by Frank Hassell. Also a Charles Davis some problems. Lester in deep. Hassell with a nice defense. And a personal fashion. Flexing its muscles so far. Using his size as advantage. First team foul of the afternoon. And Lee gets in deep. Six nothing Monarchs. Good defense by himself for Old Dominion. And now Steele. James. Lee. A nice defensive play by Vines, but Lee there to finish it off. Good hustle there by Vines to get back and break that play up. Dominator for the Old Dominion scoring. Well, I tell you what, Old Dominion started with a big lineup. They had Gerald Lee at small forward at 6'10, and they took advantage of that early scoring four buckets in the paint. And they were not settling for jumpers, they were going inside and they were getting layups. Now Neely on the attack again, got in deep. Simple passes they're having to work for. Neely alone. Can't get that one to get that himself there for the tip. Fell inside. He's so big and really worked to get position that time. Uh, Marshall Reed Neely comes off wide open, takes a good shot at three. But Frank Assell right there to tip it in. Again, that size for Old Dominion, a huge factor in this game, both offensively and defensively. Good pass and get it inside. Can't get it to go down as Assell has a rebound. We got a great look, and now Lee gets a better look. If you're a coach, you can't be happier than to see your big guy get out and beat everybody down the floor and get an easy layup like that. It's, just, it's a thing of beauty to see. And great recognition, too, by Bazemore to, to see the guy. The way they have and, and actually taken some playing minutes from some of his older players. Deion Carter doing some work on the offensive glass, and it pays off. In the league, great position, and he does it again. See Blaine Taylor's game plan coming into this one was to pound the ball inside, and they have done that. Dictated actually both ends of the floor. You see Frank Hassell getting a block there. Size is a huge factor. Hoster really not being able to do anything on, on either end on top of the Monarch free throw. Now Williams, circus shot no good. Washington there for the rebound and rejection. Shot clock to three. Eliotis has got to launch it. Instead, it's Carter. Got it. Keon Carter. Carter open three. Keon Carter. Let's head to the locker room up 11. Let's take a look at just how they increase the lead. You know, we talked about Hofstra needing to get the stop. They didn't get the defensive rebound, which gave Old Dominion another chance. Let's hear Taking it all away. And he'll shoot two. When you talk about, you know, Jenkins is a very good at using his body and strength of taking the contact and still being able to finish the play. But Kent Bazemore doing a phenomenal job of blocking that shot. And then going to. Then he attacks. No call. The tip in by Hassell. So take the Monarchs nearly three and a half. Lee in deep. Keon Carter with a follow. Yeah, some intensity in the second half. Now Darius James on the attack. First points for the junior Darius James. Back to a three-point advantage for the Well, Charles Ingus averages nearly 18 points a game, and he's starting to come alive. And here they, well, they were within one. Darius James. Not here in the second, though, but he gets it back on a nice play from Finney, and Neely gets it to the end. Ben Finney made the play, though, when he takes it away. He gets the score here in the second half. And if anybody say that, we're going to do it. John Sewell on this game, ask, and he shot his whole thing in. Three on three. Diggs pulls up and knocks it down. And then taking advantage of it as they, they pushed it up. Well, good rebound. Darius James recognizing nobody's guarding him on defense. Hey, hey, where's the defense? Is anybody going to guard me? You get to the free throw line, there's still nobody. Hey, I'm going to knock it down. Now Neely pulls up the senior, can't get it to fall. And it's tipped in. I think Cooper got it. 
Our final score once again, Old Dominion 57, Hofstra 46. Old Dominion improves to 12 and 5 overall, 4 and 1 in the league. Hofstra drops to 9 and 8, 2 and 3 in the league. CAA basketball returns to Comcast Sportsnet next Thursday at 7 o'clock when James Madison travels to Williamsburg to take on William & Mary. Check your local listings to find the game in your area. For Cal Battler and our entire crew, I'm John Castleberry wishing you a good night from Norfolk. Today's game has been a presentation of Comcast Sportsnet and the Colonial Athletic Association. You're daddy.